So a few weeks back, I had done a video on uh, how much I enjoy my G35, and no doubt I still definitely do. Uh, but I'm just going to go over some. I've had the car for a few years now, so certain things that people have said happen that may not happen, and some things I've come across that seem to be a little problematic with G35s. Um, I'll start off with uh, the Brembo brakes here. That we that come with the sport package on the 04 and 0, 03, 04 packages of G35s. People have said that they are supposed to wear brakes faster. I haven't noticed that at all, but I can't take I can't take uh, account for that because I've changed my uh, rotors. So I don't know if that may have made a difference, but I don't think so. I've I use regular ceramic pads and. And they don't wear any faster than I mean I've had these these pads on for a, long, a good amount of time right now so and I'm still they still have a lot of padding left I don't think I need to change them for a while. Um, another issue that uh, the G35s you'll end up seeing happen a lot first off is that can get kind of annoying is this happens a lot right here so you'll. Uh, have your seatbelt, you know, out and everything, and you'll be ready to get out of the car, and it'll do this. That happens a lot, and you end up doing this when you get out of your car, so that your door doesn't catch on it. The doors, I'll admit, they tend to auto-close on their own, uh, and not on a slope, and sometimes they will shut automatically. And uh, they're heavy, so they can bump into you, and you won't even notice it that it's coming at you. And so that surprises you sometimes that they're closing on you. Um, another thing that tends to happen with the G35 that people have issues with are the windows. This happens sometimes. It drops back down on its own. I don't know why that happens. Let's see if it happens again. Didn't happen that time. Let's see if it happens this time. Yep, there it goes. So it drops down on its own randomly and I don't know why that occurs. I need to, um, I'm pretty sure it's just the window regulator. I have to reset it because I did replace the window motor. So, uh, because at one time my window just stopped working completely and it was midwinter and when that happens I was, ah, that sucked. I went to just, I just went over to, um, Advanced Auto Parts, bought a window motor. The window motor and everything just had to take, I had to take this whole, this whole entire panel off the door here and then there's a bunch of screws, I say about 18 going around it and you gotta remove it and then you see the window, you can actually actually install the window regulator. Just make sure it's propped up when you do that because it will fall. But um, I changed the window. I changed the window motor and now it's working again fine. It's not a difficult thing. You can find it on like uh, my 350Z or even G35 driver on those forums. Uh, description of how to do it. Oh yeah and also with the window that thing drops down randomly. I could walk away from the car and it will fall down like halfway because it's not calibrated. So if you do replace that window motor um, Definitely do the uh, window reset. It's just a button that's right, probably right about here. Just a button you hold and press, and there's like a, a whole uh, different procedure you need to go through to actually re uh, reset it. Another issue I've seen to have with the G35 are the locks. My driver's side doesn't lock anymore with the key fob. So when I press the key fob here, it doesn't lock anymore, which can be a serious surprise. See what happens, watch. I'll close it, and I'll press my lock, okay, and it can still open. But look, lock, still opens. Weird, but yet it does lock on this side of the car. So if I unlock it, which you press it twice, this side unlocks. You lock it. Locked. So, but I've locked it. Still unlocked. My window lock motor doesn't work now. 
<coughs> so that's one of the main things you'll find with these the G35s that occurs is electronic issues. Motor-wise, not a problem. Change your oil, not an issue. You'll ha you won't have any problems with this car in terms of um, any kind of engine issues. Really, you may hear some. I, my car is starting to tick a little bit now. My I don't know if my valves are maybe ticking a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's just getting a little more noisy. But that's I have a hundred and. 18,000 miles on my car, so I guess it's just getting a little old, but um There doesn't seem to be any issues besides that uh, engine wise, but electronics are where the issues are mainly I know a lot of people tend to have um, Tend to have problems with the CD player, so I mean there's CD, the six dish changer doesn't work. I don't even use this thing so I mean I've got an iPod and everything so I just I've connected, uh, I just use the cassette. That's the one thing the 03s and 04s are good for. You can get a little cassette deck and uh, play your MP3 player through it, through the, the auxiliary thing and everything. So that's what I end up doing with that. And I usually keep it in there, but that's as simple as that gets. And um, what other people have is this issue. I have seen people complain also about this, and it happens with me too. But um, your gas gauge. I can fill my tank up. And it never goes to the top. Ever goes to the top. I mean, it always leaves a, a gap. I mean, and then and then I and then I could be driving and I'll hit like 200 miles on my odometer of driving and it will be on empty. And then I'll be like, what the hell? I just feel like it's got more than 200 miles. I know they're not that bad on gas mileage. But then I'll turn the car off and I'll be turning it back on randomly when I go back in. And it goes back up to where it's supposed to be, and the light, the the gas light is not on anymore. So it can freak you out because this thing doesn't seem to. It seems to. It can't calibrate in the gas tank how much, how much uh, fuel you have in there, and that tends to happen a lot. Um, like I said uh, in my last video, the transmission is a little difficult, and it makes. It makes a lot of noise. It can make all kinds of different noises that you're not used to. I came from driving a Honda, and it. It is a lot noisier, and you feel the you feel everything through this thing. Um, you you can feel the shaking, the rattling, all kinds of the the, the flywheel, the the clutch. You feel the engine, everything through this because it's a real wheel drive car. It has some notchy moments sometimes, you know, just but it seems to always go into gear. So I've heard on the forums, you know, that's just the way they are. Uh, when I first got the car, I I got an intake with it, so I was uh, messing with the throttle body and cleaning it out. This was a dumb mistake on my part, thinking I can clean the throttle body. I was pushing my hand inside the throttle body, cleaning it out, you know, from the gunk from the previous owner. And I didn't realize it's an electronic throttle body. Do not mess with it, because it will completely mess up the car's idle, you know, if you mess with it. You're going to have to do this crazy reset procedure that I had to look on the forms to find as well. And... I ended up getting my idle back down, but my idle was riding right at about 900 RPMs, and I could not figure out why. Then my check engine light came on, so it was just it just happened to be that I messed with the electronic throttle body. Don't don't mess with it. Just let it be. <laughs> just put your intake on and go. Just just don't even touch it no more. Uh, if I can say I made a mistake, it was not getting a black interior. It gets really dirty, and uh, oh yeah, paint. Oh man, this car chips. Like, it doesn't have the greatest paint, and my uncle works works for Nissan, and he said that that's something that they've all never really had, is they just don't have great paint. They start to rust, uh, and you gotta be on top of your, you know, on top of your game trying to make sure you got some touch-up paint with you, so, you know, always be able to touch up the rust spots, and they come up everywhere, you know, you just, might not, they can come up in between these crevices here on the door, and, and in between here, down at the bottom, Always check those spots because they can pop up. I'm, I was getting a little rust on my underneath my fender. Just make sure you are on top of uh, getting those ruts. So I've also heard that the 05 and 06 uh, G35s, a little bit of 07 with the rev up engine, also have the issue with burning oil and oil consumption. Uh, I'm, I've, I can't account for that. I have an 04 G35. I've been checking my oil and I change it regularly and I haven't seen any burning occurring you know I don't see fumes coming out of my exhaust and I don't seem to notice that my dipstick shows any signs of it dropping so 
it I don't really see that problem, but I know that it is also an issue with these cars and a lot of people have had that issue as well. So just to let you know, another thing is oil consumption may occur if you try and get a year, the, either the 05, 06 or 07 G35s, that may occur. It seems to be a common thing that pops up on the forums. Also, I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing this, but my exhaust seems to hang a quarter inch lower on the left side. Let me know if this happens to you. Car, you see tennis balls everywhere? It's because this car has the weakest body panels ever. If you like playing music, the, the damn thing is gonna shake. It's gonna rattle in the doors, on the back, by the, by the kickers, on the, uh, the back quarter panels. It's just gonna shake everywhere. So if you want a simple fix, just get some tennis balls and stick them on each corner, you know? And I actually put them in the door, in the actual door spot too. I'll show you that, but just um, stick them back there and shove them in and your problems will be solved because it's got a good system. The bow system's good, but I keep them there too. You know, it's, this panel tends to shake. So if you put those some tennis balls in there, you'll be good um, and you won't have any problems, but this car, it, it rattles. So, uh, and that's one thing a lot of people complain about too is the rattling that occurs. So, um, all about easy fixing and that was an easy fix. So, here's another wide shot of the, G30, the G35 again. There you go. I know I need some rims. They seem kind of small. But yeah. Besides that, maintenance wise, this, you know, you guys may have experienced some of these things I've talked about. You may not have, but uh, I'm just trying to make you aware of what I've been through with the car. So you have a premise to start from if you do want to get this car. Electronics are iffy, but for performance, this car is amazing. Great bang for the buck. But electronics can, and that's all these cars that are coming out now in the future. There's so much electronics in these cars. More things to break, more money for these manufacturers to make. You know, so they, they, they try and make things easier for you, but these things, they break and they mess up so much more. But besides that, the car is good. You know, I've had no problems with it. You know, it, it does, does everything it's supposed to. So, hope you guys like this video and hope it helps you out. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.